Maxi, what are we finally doing today? Fencing! We are. If you watched the previous video, uh, go that way a little bit, we have adapted this post driver. It's a Quantock PD4 post driver, which was manual use in the cab for the banger going up and down. Now we've put a small block on the side. Today is the first time we're actually going to test it. Now we've tested it in the yard, sort of, just to make sure everything we're works. Not a post here. No, so we've got four strainers in there. We've got a fence line to go from here all the way up through to there, and then another one along the top. And well, loads more Max, isn't it? Going and then forward. Another one going down the other track. Yeah, so we've got to split this. Well, at the moment it's two fields, and we're splitting it into five or six, Max? One, two, three. Something like that. Or five. Five. Five fields, as well as some other bits and pieces as well. So let's um, get the banger set up and then we'll start banging the post and actually see if this works. Because if it works, that means this today goes swimmingly well, Max, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And hopefully we don't break any back windows. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, let's um, yeah, get it set up, get a post in place, have a bit of a play. It won't go swimmingly well to start with, no doubt, because I've got to hone myself in for how it all works and everything. If you didn't see the last video, it is a complete and utter spider's web of a mess, or as Max called it, spaghetti junction, didn't you, Monk? Mm -hmm. Last time, because everything's just sort of plumbed in, sort of temporary, until we're happy everything is how we want it, and then we will do it properly and get it absolutely bob on. So, right, let's get it set up At and go from there. At least down in this corner, when we're banging our first post in, it'll be softer. Uh, that's true and we've had a little bit of rain since we've done haymaking so that's going to hopefully help us for at least like three inches quite a lot of rain. <laughs> um, but we're down in this corner to start with the main reason that if i closure is max balls it up um then no one can see it and hopefully by the time i get up to beside the track where we walk every day and i got to look at it every day it will be spot on right let's get it down wally you're digging the hole in the wrong place mate we need to dig the hole somewhere else what have you got? What have you got? <laughs> yeah. We've got a first post on the ground, Maxie. Yep. Please? Yeah. Good. Well, you're behind the camera, so you could probably see more than I could, but I'm very happy with how that worked. Very good. The Obviously, the banger's not going up very quick because the, the revs on the tractor are quite low, but all the other rams on it are quite violent. Now, someone did comment in the last video with regards to putting restrictor valves in it, which I think that's actually a really, really good idea. So when we come back to rejigging all this, we we'll probably will put restrictor valves in those ones just to slow those rams down, because then we can up the trap, the revs, to be able to get the banger up and down a bit, to go donk, 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 donk. How's it going, Max? <laughs> so, right, let's get on and put some more in, and then we'll get onto some stakes. Yes, and bang, it's bang on level, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bang on level. So he's tipping back a little bit. Now, I'm a bit of a farmer when it comes to fencing, although I did used to do this as a bit of a job. Not masses, but as you can see, there we go. Perfect. I don't know if you see the bubble there. Perfect that way. Now, I've got it tipping back a little bit. So when you put your strut in, the strain is facing away from your fence, just to give you a little bit more angle. Now, I don't know the physics of that. I just, in my head, <laughs> that's how I want it. But not so you can notice it to the eye, but just a tipping back a little tiny bit. Another one in, Maxie? Yeah. Look at that, it does look quite straight there, but it drifted a little bit because it's a bit stonier up here. Because if you remember in a previous video, we leveled all this out and reseeded it and the post drifted, but it's up straight. I've just had a tamp in this side where it moved off this side, but he is absolutely, absolutely rock solid, isn't it, Maxie? Yeah. Go on, Max, you try and move it. <laughs> he ain't good anywhere. So banging him into 112 centimeters, 
and then the little stakes will be 110 all the way down through. Look at Wally, what's he doing down there? Looks a bit muddy. Chasing rabbits, I think. Right, let's get our line wire out now, just single strand of high tensile wire. Hopefully, you've got too much wind in this video because we've got the mics on. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, a, a, a single strand of wire up through now to get a line. And then we'll put our intermediate posts from top to bottom. Now, there is a little bit of a kink there, Max, isn't there? Yeah. Where the ditch comes out. We topped that in there as close to yesterday. It's a bit deceiving of where the edge is in this video or where that toppings are. <laughs> but it comes out a little bit. But it's a very slight angle. So, we should just be able to do that with stakes. Don't have to do that with. Because we didn't want anything to fall in there. No, but we wanted room the other side to be able to, well, clean it out with the digger for one, Max, didn't we? and to be able to get in there with a hedge trimmer as well at some point. So yeah, put a line out, put our stakes out, bang our stakes in, put our strut posts in, put our struts in, put the wire up, high five, boom. All right, so this is our redneck wire unroller. Now I used to have a spinning jenny, if you don't know what a spinning jenny is, just Google it, where you put the wire into the frame, put it into a sort of a bracket or a post on a trailer or a special little trailer designed to the wire will unroll. Now we've got a spinning jenny, which we use for our machinery videos, the small machinery to show them. Now we put a, a cable reel on the top and then put the wire on the top so we can drive along and then that will spin out the back, hopefully. We've got the new Milwaukee wire cutters to cut the bits off. They work a tree. Teach Max how to do a termination knot on fencing. So you do, Maxie. You come round like that. You come. Oh, I'm probably wasting a bit of wire there, but never mind. It's all right for the thing. Get it over. Do it like that. And you pull it down round, but then you come back up. You go back in behind your loop. You pull that round like so, and you pull that one down round like that. And then you bend your wire around like so and then you can have a little twister like i've got this isn't my original one but wire twister especially when you're doing netting have that around like so that is so much easier just gives that you a little bit more leverage and you yeah. don't catch your finger on the end of the wire exactly there we go there's a the termination knot you can slide it back up the top and it's tight Nice. Well, I can only apologise about the wind. Uh, it wasn't windy when we first started this morning. Um, right, Max is going to try a termination knot on you, dude. Mm -hmm. Right, I don't know, I can probably film it and tell him at the same time, so we'll show you at the end. He's doing alright, he's doing good. Look at this, eh? He's done a better job than I have. <laughs> nice, dude. Everyone's got different ways of doing knots. Some people don't like to do this tight because they think the high tensile or the sort of the, the protection layer of the outside will crack. So do sort of a bit of a looser one, but still the principle is exactly the same of how that knot works. But then if you use one of these, it scratches it anyway. Yeah. But some people leave them loose and like end up with a, the sort of the line all the way up through to here. But I like to do them tight, it just looks nicer and tidier. Right, so now we've got a baggy wire max, haven't we? Yep. It's not tight. So I've actually bought some wire strainers on Amazon just to see what they're like. I bought three sets. Now I used to have, I think I had two sets of strain right ones and one set of haze strainers. Now I think Drive will even done some as well, but I haven't got them anymore. They got sold years ago and they're probably worn out anyway because I bought them second hand myself. So I bought some Amazon ones and they're about, I think they're about 35 quid a set. So I don't know what they're going to be like, but anyway, the link will be in the description below if you want to buy them. So right, should we go get them, give them a go. So I'll just come into the office to unwrap them so you can probably actually hear us without the wind. Now, these are the Amazon ones, which to be fair, they don't actually look too bad. They've just got the strain right ones and they look all right. I know I can already see the problem. First problem they're gonna be is that they've got paint in the jaws. So we might have to come and um, shot blast that out in a bit just to get rid of that. And if I remember rightly, mine didn't have springs. Now, I can't remember if I took it out because I didn't like the springs and just do it manually with your hand. Uh, so we might take that out as well, but no, they look all right. It's all there, 1.2 meter chains on them. Mm, interesting. And they're only 27.99 each, which I think actually, I, well, with a little bit of adjustment, I think you might be bang on, but well, proof's in the pudding, let's go and have a look. Right, so you've got your strand of wire there. These open up the jaws. They clip on there like so. All right. Well, for this strand of wire, you don't need the full length. Yeah, mine definitely didn't have a chain with the springs on. But we'll leave the springs on there for a minute. They all go like that. And then 
pull your wire, this one all the way up through. Open up the jaws, I'll come in Maxi, show them how this works. There we go. And then the, that goes in that jaw and then that clip crimps on like so. Now just get that little pull. You can get that a bit of a tap of a hammer just to get a lock in, which we probably will have to because of the paint. But let's see if they grip with the paint on. So now you just go up through your wire like so, pulling it up through. Oh it's gripping at the moment. I just want to get rid of the bloody paint on the, these bits as well. There we are. There we are. We've got one nice tight line now. They work quite well. And that's all we have to do. So then you cut the wire there and you'd put a crimp bit in, which I'd normally use, but we have actually got some gripples which came with the property in the shed. So I'll use them up and get rid of them, although I'm not really a big fan of gripples. But there we are. Cool. Right. We're the agri buggy Maxi, don't we? Yep. And what are we going to do with it? Put out our steaks with it. Yeah, so we're just putting on a pallet on the back of the agri buggy. Now, if you saw last night's video, that was Mike and I, well, I say Mike and I, Mike getting all of the brakes working on this and the cooling pipe, the water pipe sorted. Now we're going to put a pallet on the back, shut the pallet down and put the steaks on top so we can put the steaks out with the agri buggy. <laughs> it's going to be well fun. <laughs> that actually looks quite mint. I quite like it. Uh, I know I said in the video last night that I, I'm going to sell this. A, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Shall I keep it? Right, so we're using the dingo now to move the straining posts because they were in front of our pack of steaks with the Toro dingo. I love this thing. Buggy's here waiting. This is cool. I, I love it. It's brilliant. Right, we're just setting our stakes out down through now. Four paces apart all the way down through. Strut post at the top there. Done that one. I'll show you all about them in a minute. And the strut post at the bottom. And then stakes all the way down through. Right, so all the stakes are just lined out all the way through. We just stab them in the ground for now before we bang them in. Now down here, we've had to put some extra ones in because the ground dips away and then sort of back up a little bit. So extra stake in, one at, the, one at the top of the bank, one at the bottom of the bank, one in the middle, and then onto your strut post. That's not the strut finish, by the way.
There we are, Maxie. Oh, pointing the wrong direction. There we go. Stakes are in. Stakes are in. They are in all the way down through. How many did you say it was? 23. Three, right? 23, including the strainers. Yeah. Right, well, this video is probably dragged on a little bit. So what we're going to do is in the next video, we are going to put in the struts and put the wire up, aren't we, Monk? Yep. And then we may even, depending on how that video goes, do the fence up through here. But that post banger, oh, I am well happy with. You happy with it, Max? Yeah. It's just one thing I wish is we had the extendable boom on it. Yeah, so it had sort of side shift. So when it's outside, it'd be nice to side shift. That's one thing I'm missing, which I've had before on other bangers I've used. And that was, yeah, I, I missed it. I did because you just had a little bit more sort of toing and froing with the tractor if you weren't quite there. But anyway, but also <laughs> the agri buggy. What? Oh, what a weapon, Max, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, eh? we've got to make up a, bu a bed for that, haven't we? Yeah. That's the least we're going to do. So rainy, rainy one ra rainy weekend, we'll weld that up, shall we? Yeah. Cool. Well, he'll do the welding because I'm not that touching welder when Max is around, uh, which is probably a good thing anyway because I'm not that good. Um, yeah. So yeah, welding. That, those videos to come. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. What do you say, Max? What do I say? Uh, I do a piece of begging them to subscribe stuff. Please subscribe. <laughs> right. See you next time. Bye.